Okay, Chris, we've unmuted your microphone. Are you there with us? Yeah, hi. Good evening from uh, Dublin. <laughs> All right. It's the middle of the night there for you, I think, right? Well, not quite. It's, it's uh, 10 o'clock, so it's okay. not too bad. Okay. Well, it's past uh, my bedtime. Few... <laughs> 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 10 o'clock! God, no way. Okay, so I just discovered you guys today, so I probably have a long list of questions, but I'm going to be fiddling around with my demo this weekend, so I'll probably discover quite a lot. Uh, just a quick thing that I couldn't discover immediately, is, is this white labeled or is, is there going to be your logo on the uh, in the footer? Absolutely not. We <laughs> never and will never make you pay extra like some other companies. Yeah, yeah. Just to remove the powered by brilliant directories or something like that. Your site, the front end of your site is always white labeled. And even your admin where your staff might be working, you do have the option to remove like some of the help documentation that would remind that would link you to Brilliant Directory. So all the support center stuff links you to Brilliant Directory Support Center. So you could even remove these things. There's an advanced setting, uh, like get the free mobile app. That's that's going to link you to a Brilliant Directories. But this is your admin panel. If you didn't want your client, let's say you're a web developer and you didn't want your client to know that you're using Brilliant Directories, you may want to hide the support links in the admin. It's it's an advanced setting to do that. And it would remove any mentions of brilliant directories in the admin. But as far as the front end, we will never say powered by brilliant directories on your front end and you don't have to pay extra for that. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Uh, just my last question is in regards of the way I understood it is that you guys also host everything so I don't have to take care of any of that? You don't have to take care of any of that. And people really love okay. that. Um, because oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, for me, that was like, what? Really? I mean, that, that's a reason enough for me to do this. But I'll tell yeah. you why it's really a good thing. If something does go wrong, we'll, exactly. stand, we'll work to fix the problem. So if your website's down for any reason, you know, 99.99% .99 uptime is not 100%. But if something happens, email our team and we'll fix it for you. So. That's that's really good yeah, peace no, that, of mind. That's, that, that's a, I found that was a really a big thing. I myself, I'm a WordPress developer. I, I deal a lot with WordPress the whole time and, and hosting tons of websites. And when something goes wrong, it's just a lot of work. And I want to run a big directory, but I haven't got a team for that. So let that, me that let is... me show you my favorite thing that separates us from WordPress. Um, yeah. So when you work on WordPress, you need to edit PHP files to modify your templates. Right. Um, yeah. What we have is when you're logged in as the admin, you have this nifty sidebar. And mm -hmm. what I love is you can click this show widgets button and it will, it will, these are different modules basically. And if you oh, want to know okay. how to edit something, it's going to take you into the code, the scary code we always talk about, but this is a developer's tool and it lets okay, you. Okay, so I can't actually fiddle around with it. What's that? So I, I'm able to code in it? You're able to code in it. So let's say you wanted oh. to let's say you wanted to edit the head file. Yeah, yeah. Instead of going to header.php, you go to the head, it takes you to your widget library, and then it shows you um, all the uh, the widgets that have a similar name. We're gonna edit the head one. So you just customize it. And yeah. after it's customized, you can edit it. And you just do it right here from the back end. Lots of complicated, scary stuff. Some widgets are easier than others. This is a complicated one. But if you're a developer, you can just spend a minute and get wrap your head around it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's that's fantastic. I didn't realize that it, it came with the freedom. So I thought it was going to be locked in. I I myself learned programming on WordPress sites. I'm also a WordPress yeah. developer, but yeah, we built brilliant directories to have as many of the things people love about WordPress. But I've I've given up on WordPress directories. I've literally tried every single I'll, platform. Well, here's the work. problem with WordPress directories. And Jeff Wyatt, who's our operations manager, says it best. Yeah. WordPress was meant to be a blogging platform. Uh, yeah. And it works great as a blogging platform. Once you start mm -hmm. introducing the, the idea of making WordPress a direct a business directory website, there's a lot of themes mm -hmm. out there that do it well. But what you start doing is you have to use third-party plugins. The theme needs to be updated each time WordPress yeah. is updated. 
and then yeah. things start there's, falling there's apart. Too many, too many plugin conflicts, and it's clunky. And I haven't found a single one that actually is smooth and fast. Is like the 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 load time is just unacceptable in most of them. Gotcha. Well, I'll tell you another thing. You know those ones that load with the map on the home page? All those yeah. geo themes? Yeah, yeah. I don't need I'm personally I don't need to see locations before I've conducted a search. <laughs> and, yeah, no, I completely agree. And on once that. you get a lot of members, that map is going to be littered with pinpoints and that takes a lot of load time, especially on mobile devices. Yeah. So while the consumer thinks that having a map, a dynamic map on your homepage is a good idea it mm -hmm. actually wastes a lot of resources and you're not giving the person any information they really need, especially if you have different categories. What do I care that there's a lawyer over here and a hamburger shop over here when I come to your homepage? I'm looking for a yeah. dentist, you know? So I feel you, I, you can tell by the tone. If you're on the mobile phone as well, because if, you, if you're on the mobile phone and the only thing that pops up is a massive map and then it loads forever and you're stuck there, it's, it makes the whole website useless. Right. So people search the internet with intent and purpose and forcing yeah. results on people with one of those geo themes. It, it yeah. really... Oh, I tried that one as well. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of those, those geo map themes. Uh, I'm not going to oh, name the names of them, but there are a lot yeah. of them. But anyways, yeah. I, appreciate, I appreciate your question, and, and I feel your pain, and that's why Brilliant Directories exists. Yeah, no, I, I can't believe I only heard about you guys today. Welcome, like, to, I, welcome, I, to, welcome I, to the family. I wanted high and low, but I think it's because I've always added the keyword WordPress. So you've kind of stayed out of my loop, I think, because of that. All right, we'll make sure to target that in our Google AdWords campaigns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, All right, Chris. So, yeah. Thank you yeah, so much thanks. for joining us. No problem. Thanks. All right. Great questions from Chris. Thank you so much. I, I love talking to WordPress developers because I was one before myself. Okay, uh, let's see who has more awesome questions.